Good day and welcome to CNN TV. Welcome to the show Daily Crypto. I am Philip Enyola. You know how we do it on the show. We talk about different stories from different social platforms. Still on your favorite station, known as the first leading 24-7 live broadcasting blockchain cryptocurrency and fintech TV platform in Africa. We're going to go for a quick break and we'll come back. We'll visit our social platform to get our story from and talk about it. Please stay tuned. Welcome back from that quick break. Still on the show, Daily Crypto. We have our first story, Solana Labs co-founder. We don't want to kill beautiful Ethereum. Solana Lab co-founder thinks the fight between Ethereum and so-called Ethereum killer is unnecessary as the true aim for people working in crypto should be to onboard human, every human on web 3.0 many people will ask what is this web 3.0 i'm like i've been hearing web 3.0 what is it now web 3.0 is a decentralized web it represents the largest generation of internet application and service powered it's just to, it's like an upgraded uh internet um what they call it just to make internet fast like if the word comes out right so still on the story solana labs still on the story solana lab co-finder we do not want to kill the beautiful ethereum why do they even want to kill like why ethereum is trying to push their way forward and solana are not like solana people are trying to bring it down but people are like comparing okay put this put this put this put that and let's go in details what the story is trying to say why many pundits have labeled Solana as an Ethereum killer due to the low fees and faster transaction times. Solana Lab co-founder Raji Goka said the project has no desire to key cryptocurrency and wouldn't be able to do it. Even if it's one to or even if it had an idea to like bring it down, they won't be able to achieve it because Ethereum has placed a strong ground on the market. Goka made the comment in response to the Wednesday tweet post from the co-founder of Virtual Capital Fame, who wrote that despite pretty words, knives are fully out. In the cryptocurrency, generally, people want their biggest bag to win. This will influence almost all communication, so don't take what you see or hear as truth. That's what the tweet said. In response, Goka emphasized that it doesn't have to be a fight as he urged that the goal for all people working in cryptocurrency space should be on board every human to the 3.0 vision noted. It's just trying to place a piece that we are not supposed to be fighting because this is like cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency. Why are we fighting? we have it just means you see some one person is carrying first one person is carrying second why are we why are we why are we fighting why are we arguing what's like what's there we can just come together and just okay what's the problem actually are you saying that we need to bring people to understand this web thing just let us know it's not about coming online and start dragging the whole the whole matter according to coin gecko solana native cryptocurrency is currently the fifth ranking digital asset in the term of total market capitalization with 71.7 billion and ahead to follow ethereum ethereum killer cardano is 67.4 billion ethereum ahead of the two in second place in the market we all know that ethereum is taking second Bitcoin is taking first. We know that Solana drops from fourth to fifth. I don't know, Teta. Teta is now ranking. It was Teta, the stable coin. Teta was ranking four as of seven days ago. 
But I think um, Solana took place as at three days ago. So this whole, that's how the market is. One coin is going above one coin. One coin is falling back to its place so the other one can go up. It just happened. Do you understand? And Ethereum is rating 564.7 billion. 564.7 billion. That's what Ethereum is ranking. Why Solana is ranking 71.7 billion. So I don't think because of the prices, I don't think because it's what you work for you have to get. The the, the market race is for everybody. Why 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 fighting? Why coming online saying that we don't need to trust that um, Ethereum they have Ethereum killers? Like where 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 are those one coming from who are ethereum killers this is the thing that we need to play this is the thing that we need to find out what are their aim are they trying to say that ethereum is not supposed to be ranking number two we should know what their aim is because they're not coming straight they're just fighting the coin and i don't know they can't actually like they said even if they had it in mind to bring them down they can't bring them down so that's it Solana has been making up to a lot of ground lately. However, it's up to 11,742% over the past year and it sits to $237.53 thousand while Ethereum has gained 931% within the last time frame of each rate. That's that for, that's that for the story. Solana Labs co-finder we do not want to kill the beautiful Ethereum. I too will stand for them. Because why? They are pushing the way other coins are pushing. Let's all just work together. It's still the cryptocurrency market space. So let's just have let's just have our own seats in our own space. You you cannot say you want to come at the throne and another king from his king from, from his palace. So let's let's just the market is big. Let's enjoy it. Let's not push one another. You understand? Some people will say when you have a filling station nearby you, don't go and open another filling station. Open like where they used to say a keg. So you just, they just, let's work together, please. This fight. Ah, you guys have energy. All right, moving on to another story. Says two fame accounts from the majority of Tata received report. Yeah, this story caught my eyes. Many industry have support hand. But those support hands are not acknowledged. They are not bringing to the timeline. They are not, okay, oh, this, this is the people that is pushing us forward. This is the people that have been with us for. Like, a lot of investors are not being appreciated. Yeah, a lot. A lot. New study by, new study by photo claims that Teta flows is dominated by just two fame. Alimada Research and Kukumba. Kumba land okay let's go in details that teta the usdt has gone from being a range cryptocurrency to becoming an industry industry primary crutch during the last seven years according to the new report essentially the usdt is a bridge between traditional currency like the united states dollar and decentralized digital currency operating on one open blockchain network. Independent crypto outlets photos provided in the depth light to the most common stable coins and liquidity providers who supply the, to the cryptocurrency platform. According to the report issued, the, UD, the USDT is primarily acquired by, f by just two market makers. Between 2014 and October 2021, Amada Research and Kumba Land received a project of 60.3 billion in USDT, accounting for almost 55 percent all of the outbound volume over, according to the photo and closed competitors meant to the few hundred million USD. Yeah, we should know how to appreciate in things that are helping your industry, like. If you know you have big fans that supported you, like a lot of sponsor, a lot of sponsors are not being appreciated. Some people say, "Oh, I need sponsor." And when they give it to you, you'll be like, mm, "Don't worry, you yourself, you know you sponsor us, so just have it like that." But it's not supposed to be like that. 
you should know how to bring them appreciate them okay this person was part of this person was part of my building this person was part of my foundation we, you know it's it makes them want to it encourage them it makes them want to do more i feel we should we should put that like we should put that in practice learn how to appreciate people that come to decide to grow with us to build with us we should learn how to appreciate them another story the discard drop ethereum and nft interrogation plan after black cash he said um we are going to this is like a backup story we are going to do this we are going to do that at the end of the day he's trying to change the story story still with johnson Satan said that nft feature was in pre-release he has now changed his tone after being bombarded with thousands of comments and on calling him to drop the plans he decided that he wants to do something a lot of people are trying to like okay why would you do that why this you have to stand if you know that this is the right thing to do this is what you want to do you have to stand because people are following your train if you tell somebody that tomorrow they are going to start building health care then in a week time they even think you guys are bought cement you guys are bought everything yeah they're not telling them that mm, it looks like we don't have to build and um, looks like we should wait uh, those things now make people lose interest in this cryptocurrency system so we should know how to say okay this is what we are going for let's do it it's not like uh, bitcoin and ethereum that go up and come down no we should know that people are fooling us we are trying to put people into this technology and they are fooling us let's not be giving today another thing tomorrow another thing you said that you're going to carry this tax out why are you turning down your your statements those comments those people calling on you what are they saying how what what are they trying to point out to make you say that you're not carrying the, this thing that, like if you have if you have to make a change if you have to go back to your words if you have to say okay i don't want to do this thing give us reasons don't just tell us because of a lot of comments a lot of this is coming no 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 tell us the reason because some of us just feel like okay are you trying to play on us are you trying to tell us that we are not supposed to listen to this technology this ecosystem that you guys are trying to put out to the timeline what are you guys doing some people will start doubting a lot of people are even doubting those people that trust you guys how are you guys carrying them along this I, when i saw the story i was really sad like okay i was happy when he said he wanted to carry it out i was like there was it, there was every possibility for him to push out this thing like he was so like the passion was there he was saying that i'm going to do this and i'm doing it that in the next two days we should wait and now he's saying it's going it's changing his tone saying that because of a lot of thousands of comments are in his draft a lot of things are no 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 moving on to another story it said the ethereum bid is real time for bank c auction don't get the story so let's go in details what they are trying to say the frame auction house claims it will be first to accept crypto for a real-time auction or physical act but the auction house are not far behind let's let's still dig in what they're trying to say the auction house has announced it will accept ethereum bits in a real time for it for it november 18 the auction that we include work by frame streets and backseat i think they're trying to say that the the arts work that they put for auction they will use ethereum to in exchange yeah i think that's what they're trying to say that although the bidding piece the bidding price will be announced in ethereum winning bidders have the option to pay for the work in either ethereum bitcoin yeah that's what they're trying to say that the arts work will pay in cryptocurrency so anybody that is the price is not yet out that's it the price is not yet out so when the price is out anybody that wants to pay will pay with either ethereum bitcoin or usd coin any of those but sure they are saying that the artwork is going to pay into the cryptocurrency you're going to be using the cryptocurrency to pay for the artwork moving on to another story 
Kenny Griffin said Bitcoin will be replaced by Ethereum based currency. Generation X Bologna businessman Kenny Griffin says he thinks the passion is misplaced when it comes to cryptocurrency. The passion is misplaced when it comes to cryptocurrency. Saying that people have misplaced passion. We need to we need to understand what you're trying to say. Kenneth Grief, the billionaire CEO of American Hedge Fund, thinks the, a, crypto, a currency on the Ethereum network will replace Bitcoin as crypto stop dodge manage over 40 billion of capital quarter of the trading volume in the united states stock market during this wednesday november 10 dead deal book submits hosted by the new york time new york time grief said that he anticipated that the bitcoin based conception replaced by the ethereum based conception the next generation of cryptocurrency saying that the cryptocurrency mm, he thinks that the cryptocurrency is going to rank number one very soon like it's going to push bitcoin down but we we know that bitcoin they are doing they are doing their best so that that is his own idea that's what he thinks so we can't say that what he's saying is not is his own dream that like, okay it's serum is but the way Ethereum is moving, and it's true, with the way Ethereum is even moving, it's as if there's a train pushing it further and everybody's using their leg and there's something carrying it. So with the way it's having good changes and all, they feel like it's going to push down Bitcoin. That's what Kenneth Griffin is saying, the ex billionaire of CEO of American Edge Fund. He added that Ethereum-based cryptocurrency have the benefit of high trans of higher transaction speed, lower cost per transaction. Ethereum is only slightly faster than Bitcoin at present, but will significantly scale up transaction speed and lower cost when Ethereum 2.0 is fully implemented. So Ethereum 2.0 is, they are, they are working on it. They are working on it. And he's saying that when this comes out to the timeline, that it's going to push down Bitcoin. So let's wait till when it's implemented. When it's said, when we, when they say that, okay, we can take this, we can use this, we can use that. So when it's that time, we cannot say, okay, oh, true, true, Ethereum will push down the Bitcoin. But for now, we know that Bitcoin still take a large place in the market space, and that's what they still stand on. And they have been there for the past seven days, and they're still there ranking giving us good changes giving us bad changes we know that as business there's a good weather there's a bad weather so we just have to stick to that so it's not something we don't know about so we know that the market space changes and come back to cost but still on that another story says miami will hand out free bitcoin to residents from profits on the city coin free bitcoin Miami will hand out free Bitcoin to residents from profit on city coin. The race to establish America's biggest crypto hub in with Miami imagined as a front runner by generating millions of dollars in yard from scaling Miami coins. So if you are in Miami, you are going to be having free Bitcoin, free one to yourself that's a that's a huge that's a huge huge thing to offer like wow 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 that's a very good thing to offer that's a that's a very miami they are doing well they're doing well every miami resident with a digital wallet will be eligible to receive a bitcoin div divided according to their major francis if you have a wallet and uh, maybe you had like your wallet is big so it's according to how big your wallet is to you get your bitcoin if your coin is big you you are you have to get more than what another just like if you have 100 i don't know how to place it that like, just if you have hundred thousand in your account your wallet another person have twenty thousand in your wallet so they are giving the way 
the way how large your wallet is that's how they are gifting this bitcoin to different people different residents in miami people in miami they're giving them free bitcoin that's a very good one miami staking miami coin has generated yield as assets of 21 million for the city it reserve wallet convert miami coin deposit into the usd base on command from the city official continue at the rate it is possible that they could entirely cover the city tax needs they can actually use their with all these giftings and all they can use it to cover all their tax in miami that's a very good change imagine if every country does that okay let's just decide that okay this this day we should just give every person in maybe united states free bitcoin just free bitcoin let's just give it give it to them people will be happy people people that don't even have any idea of they want to like oh what is this i want i'm interested i want to understand i want to know what this thing is all about everybody wants to push their head into the matter and Another story said, Doctor Without Border is now using blockchain tech for medical record storage. Doctors are now using blockchain to store their medical uh, records. Mm, that's, a good, that's, that's, that's a good one. The, 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 the country is changing. Yeah, this ecosystem, though many people don't have an idea of it, people are seeing things. Things are happening, you know. I'm seeing things. If you're not seeing things, I'm seeing things. This ecosystem is, is running. It's not even working. It's running. The more they are coming with one implementation, that the more they are coming with one regulation, that don't bring it out, don't do this. The banks are fighting. The more they are fighting, the more they are, they are coming in brighter form. Things is happening is happening the technology is not sleeping like those you see this thing they're not sleeping the the, the game developers those people are they, are they are creative any person in this ecosystem in this uh, technology world you guys are trying you are trying you try i don't know how you guys just invent things like and bring it to fruition and everybody start working ah, you guys are trying you guys are really trying now doctors are using it to are using blockchain to store their medical record from there there'll be no anything anything to write on just go to your system pack, 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 pack. check it it's on your blockchain all right so the, and they save it for you keep it for you know i, I don't i don't see my this i know i know where did i write it where did i no 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 changes Embrace technology. Is that a, it has a better future. But we don't understand. We'll be saying, okay, let's write it. We don't know the system. I show. We know all these things, but let's embrace it first. Let's embrace it. Before we say that, oh, something might happen. So let's just embrace it. Accept that it's existing first before we can bring other things to. But that is that. The blockchain documentation service announced a partnership with the Criminalization organization on Thursday. Still on the doctor's matter. At a November 11 press conference, blockchain based document security company announced partnership with Doctor Without Border, the DWB, that begins on October 14. Working together, they have already uploaded 6,500 immunization wow six thousand five hundred immunization records into the blockchain wow with a goal of sixty seven thousand by 2022 the future is big the future is big the future is big it's really big like i said things are happening and that story, and that is that for the Coin Telegraph. That's where we got our story from Coin Telegraph. The stories that have been placed out that have been highlighted are from Coin Telegraph. So we'll be moving on to Coin News Extra. There's a particular story that's really that really got my heart, and I just want to like, okay, what are they actually saying? 
what are they saying let me let me even see what they are trying to say so coin is extra the story said leading south african banks send account termination notice to crypto at badge traders why were you saying account termination notice what are they trying to say what are they trying to say let's let's find out One of the South Africa biggest banks, Standard Bank, has reportedly sent a contamination notice to clients that offer automatic cryptocurrency outbreak service. This move, according to the MyBoard Band report, has sent a show wave, although this cryptocurrency industry, the sending of this notice has also raised question about the criteria that Standard Bank is using when making a decision on which accounts must be turned. That is the question. Are you sending this to generally everybody? Or you are specifically sending it to some specific people? Because that is where the question comes from. How do you know the specific people to send this to? Or you are sending it to people that have cryptocurrency, people that are into cryptocurrency. How do you know those set of people that have cryptocurrency? These questions are to be placed out. Why on earth will you send an account termination to people, to clients? You know, like the person said, you want to even stop your bank. It's not like the person said, okay, well, I'm not, I'm not, I, I don't want to be in this bank again. I just, please, I'm done with this bank. Please close the bank. Close my account. I'm not interested. They are still with you and you're still sending account termination to clients? This, this should be, this should, this should. This story should be investigated. It should. We need more details on this. The report also called an unnamed outbreak trader who similarly claims their account is being terminated simply because of the company outbreak business model. Meanwhile, the claims by the valors of the unnamed trade appears to collaborate by send sender the founder of crypto investing platform vivex and the report sender is co sender codes admitting to that vivex which he says is not an out is not an outbridge trader has had better fortune with the bank but only after going through several gurus meeting sender however bombs South Africa lacks of sensible regulation and how this contributes to an automatically high banking rate. This is still playing that, you know, people just want to paint Africa as the worst place to do business, as the worst place to invest. People just still want, this is still saying, it's still painting a wrong image on African people. And it's not fair. It's not fair coming from a South African country. Like, it's not fair, really. And that people will not say, oh, it's happened here, or it will happen in other, other African countries, or eh, why? It's not fair. We should look into things that we decide to put out. Because the cryptocurrency world is outside there, does that mean you should not shut down people's accounts in the normal centralized banks? We should look at it, it's not fair. Because somebody decides, I want to have a decentralized account, I want to have where I can control my money, where I can control my transaction. Just let me just, I want to invest in something apart from what I have. And you're trying to tell the person that is an offense, that the person have an idea of crypto. It's not fair. And happening in Africa, really, are we still doing this to African countries? Are we still lucky? Imagine, imagine the comment saying that. Imagine a comment saying that. Saying that, however, African lack of sensible regulation and how this contributes to the automatically high banking breaks. Sad. 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 Okay. That's that. Let's check. Let's go in details. What's the risks of these people, these Africans are putting to our table. 
because African people are trying to fight their way out there for people to recognize that they can do banking with us. They can, they can. Ghana is making it good. A, little, a lot of country out there are trying to like, African country out there are trying to like, okay, yes. It's not, it's not that bad. It's not that poor. We are rich. Let's make use of our power to be something people don't look down on. Let's, let's do this. Defending the termination notice, a spoken person of Standard Bank insists that the bank action um, non-discriminatory, <laughs> but the aim of ensuring that all clients comply with regulations. Standard Bank is committed to treat, threatening the, its clients fairly to consistently strive to strike the operation balance between maintaining client relationship and ensuring regulatory compliance. They're not even feeling that they have done something wrong. They're, they're saying that those people that are sent, those people that have received this termination, termination, account termination notice, they should comply with them. They're not thinking about, you know, banks would always tell you that our, our motto is to keep our customer relationship stable and meet up our customer service. But now, they're not even caring about the parts where they are supposed to focus on the relationship between their customer and them. They're focusing on the clients, the customers receiving the regulation that they have implemented with the customers or clients receive this regulation. That is the question we should ask. But still on CNE TV, the more content like this on the cryptocurrency ecosystem will always be played out to you on the station. Still the first leading 24-7 live broadcasting, cryptocurrency, blockchain and fintech TV platform in Africa. We got you covered on every cryptocurrency program, every cryptocurrency content here. I am Phyllis Angela. Please goodbye for now. Thank you.